Hello, I'm Midnight, and welcome to How Computers and Binary Actually Work. Let's begin by talking about numeral systems. Base 10 numeral system is what we call real numbers. What that means is, real numbers are based on a 10-digit cycle. 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on up to 9. Then we add another digit place and have 10. Then the first digit starts over at 0. It's the same thing as saying 10 is 1 times 10. 20 is 2 times 10. And this is where the name base 10 derives from. You might be asking yourself, why isn't it called base 9? That's because you're forgetting to add the number 0. Binary works this way also. But binary is base 2 numeral system. What that means is, all you can have in binary is 0 and 1. But like real numbers, it has unlimited digit places. A single digit binary number in computers is known as a bit. Binary starts at 0, then 1, then you add a digit place and cycle the original digit back to 0. Just like with the number 10 in base 10, or real numbers, binary is also known as boolean. A bool command, like in computer languages, such as C and C++, is used as a simple true or false type of switch. Personally, I like to think uh, like a light switch or a true or false question. Okay, so binary goes like this. 0, 1, then add a 1 as a new digit place. Switch the original digit back to 0. For example, the number 2 in binary is 1, 0. The number 3 is 1, 1. And the number 4 would be 1, 0, 0, and so on. Remember that it works exactly like real numbers when it comes to digit place, but the maximum value in binary is not 9, it's 1. Okay, so now that we have a slight understanding of numeral systems, I'll attempt to explain hexadecimal, or hex, which is base 16 numeral system. Hex doesn't work only with digits like base 10 real numbers, nor like base 2 binary, because along with digits, hexadecimal also uses letters. Not the entire English alphabet, however. Only the letters A through F, and they actually represent numbers. The base 16 scale goes from 0 to 9, then A through A equals 10, B equals 11, and so on up to 15, which corresponds to F. Hexadecimal's primary purpose is to represent the binary code in a format easier for humans to read and acts as a form of shorthand. It's used in decompilation or directly interacting with program variables. Okay, so getting to how real computers turn numbers into binary for use in RAM and processor, well, binary will actually keep adding digit places the higher the number you go. However, computers only work with four binary digit places in groups with a maximum real number, number equivalent of 15. The 16th number is zero. The way it works in a modern processor is a group of four binary bit digit places, which is called a nibble, spelled with either a Y or an I. With two of those, you have eight bit. Two nibbles make a byte. Bytes are eight bits, or two nibbles. Four bits equal a nibble. A nibble. Two nibbles equal a byte. Two bytes equal 16 bits, which is called a word, or it could be equal to a 16-bit hexadecimal number plus the null bit, or number zero. Now, word shouldn't be confused with, like, a character. 1,024 bytes is a megabyte. 1,024 megabytes is a gigabyte. One hexadecimal string of eight digits shows exactly one byte. Eight bits of memory can store one byte or a number up to 256. 1,024 bits equals a kilobit. Often truncated to an understanding of 1,000. 
but is actually a trick marketing agents use to make computers supposedly easier to understand for the average person, which only complicates things now. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, it means that binary numbers can be converted into real numbers. The maximum real number value of one 16-bit word is 6,500, I'm sorry, 65,535. It's the standard size of an integer, or INT, aka whole number, or more descriptively, not a floating decimal, decimal number, like a percentage of a whole number. Like a decimal number. When you compile C or C++ code into an executable, it's actually saving it in binary. Programming is real numbers, math, logic, etc. Compiled into binary, stored on your hard drive, and loaded into RAM when it's run. Then processed like a calculator by the transistors on your central processing unit, or CPU, your processor. Hopefully this cleared up a lot of confusion about, confusion about computers. It's actually not as complex as it seems at first. It's just that humans are better at understanding spoken languages rather than calculating numbers, which is what transistors do best. And in math, you can describe everything around you using dimensional coordinates, switches, and loops. Enough to simulate things like video games with real-time interactive control or a high-resolution CGI movie like Shrek or Shark Tale. What I find really cool about learning of how binary is just transistors switching off and on is that it's the most fundamental thing, the most evolutionarily redundant process, yet it rules our everyday lives. See you next time.